Hello and welcome to Let's Talk, a Mazars podcast about doing business in the time of COVID-19. In this series, we will hear from Mazars experts who've been helping clients navigate the business impact of coronavirus. They will tell us how their clients have been affected and what they've learned during the crisis, as well as how they have responded and what happens next. So let's talk. Today's guest is a tax expert in Germany who tells us why reduced VAT isn't good news for all and why businesses should take this time to refresh their tax systems. Hello, guten Tag in die Runde. My name is Birgit Jürgensmann and I am the global head of VAT and indirect tax at Mazar. The advice I have found myself giving in recent months to clients is to get things done today while looking to the future. It's a tough time to plan, but it's crucial for long-term success. As a tax expert, I've been responsible for helping clients access the deferrals and measures that the German government has made available. While these will undoubtedly help in the short term, businesses need to remember that the tax authorities are already planning how to make up the shortfall. How has the government responded in your local market? One of the core measures here was to temporarily decrease the VAT rate. What on paper looks like a great move for customers actually causes a lot of pain for businesses. Brought in at short notice, it throws up a lot of invoicing issues for businesses, which are already struggling given the economic impact of COVID. VAT changes mean businesses have to refresh all of their systems and processes to cope with it at a time of already limited resources. They also have to look at the books and to find out what can be wholly and partially deducted. And, importantly, they might have to negotiate with their supply chain to find out which contracts are eligible. Could you share an example? An example. Imagine you would have shipped goods before the 1st of July when the change came in. But the goods were delivered later in July. Can the sender claim cashback? Or do only business later down the line benefit? New tax codes are rarely warmly welcomed by finance or IT professionals and they are now having to keep up with the new developments in stretched times. That is not to say government measures weren't useful, but what we are now seeing is tax authorities trying to make up the shortfall. Not only that, but German businesses face a couple of difficult years ahead with COVID still not over. Brexit on the horizon, new VAT rules for e-commerce coming in 2021 and final VAT system in 2022. And it's not only related to German businesses, but also to all other businesses dealing with transactions in Germany. What's your advice to someone listening? The best thing businesses can do is get their tax systems and processes in place. We expect tax audits going forwards to be stricter. I've had recent conversations where authorities signaled their displeasure with businesses' tax setups and have strongly urged that they get themselves in line quickly. I keep telling clients to use this time to get things done and get things in line. Use the momentum and the pressure on your business to reshape how your business works and how you keep track of your tax. Don't be afraid to use the current situation as an opportunity to shift your business model. The future of tax advisory is IT, so prepare your processes now. That goes for the supply chain too. Businesses often start with one setup, and even after they have grown to deal with 10 or more countries, they don't revise their model. When they fail to do that, they are missing out on savings and opportunities to grow. What have you learned about yourself during the crisis? What I have learned is that businesses is volatile and to keep up with change, teams and their advisors need to be flexible. That doesn't just go for COVID, but actually for any time that businesses are operating in. Agile mindsets and ways of working are the way to go. In business, you have to be able to do something big without always having a lot of time to do it. For my clients, it's been amazing to see them cope with COVID and handle it in many cases with excellence. How we work as businesses and how we work with clients is changing before our eyes. We may never travel in the same way again. But what remains true is the need for businesses to think on their feet, be flexible, change their processes according to the world around them. And together, I'm certain we can face whatever comes next. 
Thanks for listening to Let's Talk, a podcast from Mazars about doing business in the time of COVID-19. If you have enjoyed this, you can find more by searching Mazars Let's Talk.